Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, November 3rd, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 303. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, November 2020 dramas, including Fearless Whispers and The Legend of Xiao Chuo. But first, as always, here's what's recently premiered. Drawing Sword 3 is a Republican-era drama starring Leon Zhang and Ben Go Gao, and it premiered earlier today. The drama follows Leon Zhang's character, who although is uneducated and temperamental, has a brilliant military mind. He and other youths, like this fellow played by Ven Go Gao, fight to protect their home in Sichuan. They actually started filming back in February of 2017. It's one of those that's been sitting on the shelf for quite some time, but somehow has gotten the green light now. Lucky them. The drama is also a reunion for Leon Zhang and Van Gogh Gao. Both were in 2016's The Interpreter, back when they weren't established leading men yet. Drawing Sword 3 is the third installment in the Drawing Sword series, but if I'm not mistaken, the story is unrelated. The drama is available on Tencent, no English subs at the moment. Insect Detective is a modern crime drama starring Gala Zhang and Chu Yue, and it premiered earlier today. Gala Zhang plays a toxicology graduate who investigates a woman's mysterious death, which involves a colony of bullet ants. He teams up with a forensics doctor played by Chu Yue, and they discover there's way more to the case than meets the eye. Gala Zhang has done mostly coming of age or romance type dramas, so this is a change of gears for him. I saw the trailer for Insect Detective and it was all mystery and suspense, and not much of the lovey dovey stuff. The drama is available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto translated. The Legend of Xiao Chuo is a costume drama starring Tiffany Tang and Sean Doe, and it premiered earlier today. Tiffany Tang plays Xiao Yan Yan, a Khitan princess who was forced to marry the Emperor of Liao. Shan Do stars as Han Te Rang, Xiao Yan Yan's childhood sweetheart who later becomes a powerful court official. Both characters enjoy the luxuries of royalty, but at some point get down and dirty on the battlefield. Here's Tiffany's character getting stuck in with her sword. And here's Sean's character with blood on his face. So I checked out the first episode and it was quite entertaining. I do recommend it if you're looking for a costume drama to check out. With its star quality and action scenes and pretty production design, I'd be quite surprised if it doesn't make the top 10 web dramas list this Sunday. The drama is actually a reunion for Tiffany and Sean. They both starred in 2019's See You Again. Legend of Xiao Chuo is available on Wii TV in 1080 with English subs. The 1080 really makes the lavish pastures and battleground scenes that much better to look at. Okay, moving on, here are some upcoming dramas that are premiering this month. These following ones have officially announced their premiere dates. Oh My Drama Lover is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Zhu Li Lan and Jackson Zhang, and they've officially announced a November 5th premiere. The drama follows a writer who travels into her unfinished novel and assumes the money-worshipping second female lead character. Ironically, she strikes up a relationship with the lowly third male lead character's assistant. The drama will premiere on Yuku. In the Name of the Father is an upcoming modern police drama starring Michelle Yeh and Yu Chen, and they've officially announced a November 5th premiere. The drama follows Michelle Yeh's character, who is inspired by the memory of her deceased father to become a police officer like he was. She meets disciplinarian tough guys and accidentally stumbles upon a drug trafficking location. Michelle Yeh hasn't been in the Chinese drama scene for a while, but she was a regular headliner in dramas and movies not that long ago. She has almost 50 dramas and movies on her long resume. In the Name of the Father will premiere on Tencent, so it might be available on Wii TV with English subs as well. You Are So Sweet is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Eden Zhao and Amy Sun, and they've announced a November 5th premiere. 
The drama follows a romance between artists in the dubbing world. What will a female rookie dubbing artist do when she is pursued by two male gods of the dubbing world? I'm assuming they're talking about those dubbing artists that overdub the actors in the dramas we watch. Anyway, the premise is kind of fresh. I've never watched anything in the dubbing artist world before. The synopsis definitely made me chuckle. You are so sweet, we'll premiere on Yuku. Fearless Whispers is an upcoming Republican era drama starring Li Yifeng and Jenna Jin, and they've officially announced the November 6th premiere. Li Yifeng plays a rookie police officer with righteous ideals who becomes a spy as he is caught up in the political warfare of that era. Jenna Jin plays a messenger who helps relay crucial information to Li Yifeng's character. They eventually fall for each other. Fearless Whispers will premiere on CCTV, which means that English subs might be hard to come by. Republican era dramas like these tend not to do so well with international audiences. They seem to be better received at home on Chinese TV, for obvious reasons. The government does push them more because of their nationalist values, and also because viewers don't need English subs to watch them. Case in point, the number one TV drama in the Middle Kingdom at the moment, Sniper, starring Huang Xuan and Cheng He. So those are the dramas that have officially announced their premiere dates. I want to mention one more that hasn't officially announced its premiere date, but is heavily rumored to premiere in November. Here's To Love with Kenny Lin. To Love is a modern drama starring Kenny Lin and Gai Yuexi. When the drama does premiere, it'll be Kenny Lin's first drama since the insanely popular Princess Agents. Here's Kenny Lin's character, an ex-cop who returns to the force for an undercover mission to investigate his friend's death. He infiltrates a drug organization and meets Gai Yuxi's character and promptly falls in love with her. Du Chuan co-stars as a cop who gets involved when a murder takes place within the organization. To Love ended its 5-month shoot in October last year, so it's been over a year since then. The drama is slated for 40 episodes, and I will give more updates on it as they provide them. So there are your November 2020 Chinese dramas. Did you guys find any of them eye-catching? To be honest, with the exception of The Legend of Xiao Chuo and To Love, none of them really jumped out at me. I mean, I'll check out all of them and I'll update on them, but I'm not expecting to be in awe of any of them. But I guess you never know. I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. And to bring this episode to a close, here's Zhao Liying on her latest set, The Story of Xing Fu. Here she is in a red jacket, looking like she's about to confront someone or something like that. Her outfit doesn't look too far off from Gong Li's character here in 1992's The Story of Chiu Chu. The Story of Xing Fu is a drama adaptation of The Story of Chiu Chu. Both tell the story of a headstrong village woman who takes her village chief to court but in a twist of irony becomes indebted to him. Zhao Liying's getup in The Story of Xing Fu is a far cry from her getup in Princess Agents. But that's what I love about actors and acting. The opportunity to look, feel, and act so drastically different from production to production. And Zhao Liying is definitely one of those actors who stretches her range. Of her upcoming dramas, she will play a martial arts master in ancient garb, a modern day doctor in a lab coat, and a pregnant village woman. And before I let you guys go, here's a quick recap of all the dramas in November that I mentioned. Drawing Sword 3 premiered today, November 3rd. It's available on Tencent, no English subs at the moment. Insect Detective premiered on November 3rd as well. It's available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto-translated. And The Legend of Xiao Chuo also premiered on November 3rd. It's available on WeTV with English subs. Oh My Drama Lover will premiere on November 5th on Yuku. In the Name of the Father will premiere on November 5th on Tencent. You Are So Sweet will premiere on November 5th on Yuku. And Fearless Whispers will premiere on November 6th on CCTV. And hopefully, To Love will premiere sometime in November. I will update again on all these if and when they become available with English subs. 
And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt and other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, it really does get the channel out there. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!